Okay, we're going to do a takedown of a 1911 style pistol. This is the Echo 1 Wolfsbane. This is an early model with uh, slightly different markings than what's out there, but it'll still apply. So first, we're going to pull the slide back to the first notch in the slide. That's the takedown notch. To assist, you should cock back the hammer, but you can do it without. Once you're lined up, you can push the pin out from the other side, and the slide stop comes out. Then the slide comes off, and you'll push down the plug and then rotate the bushing counterclockwise. The bushing won't move unless it's this is depressed. And then you can pull the bushing out. On more classic style 1911s, the plug comes out the front as well. On the Wolfsbane in particular, it's a reverse plug. It has a lip that keeps it from coming out the front and it can only come out the back. Now we'll remove the spring plug, the recoil spring, and the recoil spring guide, and now the barrel. Recoil spring guide has a hole in the back of it, and that's to lock into place with the lug that is on the hop-up chamber. So now you have it apart, you can take out the barrel assembly here to do any other further maintenance or adjust your hop-up if you like. If you like, to take it out, just pull back, turn the actual chamber slightly off-center, and then it should come right out. You might need something to pry it a little bit because on some guns it's very tight. Now to reassemble, we put the barrel back in, the plug back in, recoil spring, and then recoil spring guide. And then be sure that that locks into the lug that's on the hop up chamber. Now you'll put the bushing back on. It comes in at an angle because it has lugs on it. And you'll press down on the spring plug. And then once you're in the right position, let the plug go and it'll lock it into place. Now put the slide back onto the frame, pull it back to the first notch, make sure it lines up, and then insert the slide stop. If you're having trouble inserting the slide stop, you're either not in the right notch or it's not going in straight, which means you're scratching up your frame. So be careful that you don't put it in crooked. Make sure it's exactly where it needs to be. After that, we function check and everything's good to go.